it seemed it was farther than the 2000. So we have academies around the world, and each academy has some of them. They have uh, their own team, and Jiu Jitsu team, and MMA team. So we have, uh, uh, especially in Canada, we have uh, uh, Patrick Cote, that's a student of Fabio Hollanda. So we have some good fighters around the world. Now we uh, even have a deal with uh, Tiger Muay Thai that representing Brazilian top team in Asia. So we have a we have a camp in Thailand soon, MMA camp, uh, MMA camp with all fighters of Brazilian top team. So we have the headquarter in Rio that he is in the uh, ABB Lagoa, that uh, academy that I'm teaching. So I have a lot of fighters for, that come from here, like Rosemar Palhares, Milton Vieira, uh, and you know, Toninho Furi, a lot of good fighters, Pedro Nobre, so it's, uh, the academy is a, is a team that uh, the background is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but we have, we have uh, everything, we try to study martial arts in general, like uh, wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, Judo, so, but the background is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we have a class, there's a lot of class of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but we, we develop uh, MMA as well. I have a, a, a coach, my only coach in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was Carson Gracie, so I was, uh, I trained his academy from 10 years old to around uh, 30, 34 years old, so uh, I still there until 2000 when I found a Brazilian team with a couple friends from, from there, you know. Uh, Carson was a great master, a great uh, coach, you know. In my opinion, he was the, the, the best MMA fighter ever and the best coach ever. So I learned, about, I, I learned a lot with him about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, he has a kind of style that uh, because of he used to fight a lot of MMA, he made a, a really effective uh, Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, he had to apply his, his style of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in MMA, so he's, he tried to, to use uh, techniques that easy to work in the real situation, so uh, after uh, I found Brazilian top team, I keep the same style, you know, I have been fighting MMA a lot, so my style is a little bit like that, you know, I try to choose uh, the positions that I used to, to, to apply in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, this position that I can apply in the same way, mix some martial arts, so you know, sometimes I train with Gi and doing positions that I don't, need, don't even need to grab the Gi, you know, uh, not that I that I fight with gi, not having the you know not using the grip, chokes, whatever I do, it. but uh, you know I try to do positions that I can use with gi and no gi. So I apply with a lot of kind of scapes and submissions on bars that I don't even grab the gi because you know I need to apply that in MMA. So it's a kind of really I choose a kind of style that. Uh, Techniques from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that can be, you know, easy apply in MMA. So, you know, a really effective kind of uh, way to, to, to do things. Yeah, BJJ is still uh, to be a new sport, so uh, already spread around the world. But need to have more time, you know, to have more black belts around the world, you know, from all countries, so when you have, when you can see black belts and big teams of, you know, black belts in all countries that have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, then maybe you have a, if you have a, a you know, one good rule, you know, ruling the, the, the Jiu Jitsu around the world, maybe you can see Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in the Olympic Games. It's necessary that you know that the countries that uh, already have need to be uh, more black belts. Taking time is gonna happen.